The Marietta Earthworks have astonished visitors for over 2,000 years. They are some of the most spectacular earthworks ever built by ancient American Indians in North America. Some of the first ancient sites to be extensively documented by American scholars. And some of the first American Indian cultural sites preserved by American citizens, including Conus Mound, Capitolium Mound, Quadrino Mound, and the Sacra Via. About 2,800 years ago, American Indians began building monumental earthworks throughout the Ohio Valley. The earliest structures were conical burial mounds and circles, built by a culture archaeologists call Adena. The most elaborate monuments were the ceremonial centers of the Ohio Hopewell, mounds, geometric earthworks, and hilltop enclosures. The Adena culture were the first farmers in the Ohio Valley, living in more or less sedentary villages and building these enduring monuments on the landscape. The Ohio Hopewell culture was a fluorescence, or an explosion even, out of the earlier Adena culture in which everything the Adena did, the Hopewell did on a grander scale, a larger interaction sphere, a larger set of earthworks. Instead of community churches, the Hopewell built cathedrals. Archaeologically, the Marietta earthworks, unlike almost any other earthwork I could name, are a kind of a bridge between the Adena with Conus Mound, the Hopewell with the large squares and the parallel walls, but then it also has these platform mounds that are precursors to what comes after during the Mississippian culture. So this whole story of Eastern Woodlands mound building is there at Marietta. During the late 1700s, officers from Fort Harmer began to document the monumental earthworks at what would become Marietta. Their surveys and sketches were some of the first images documenting the ancient earthworks of the Ohio Valley. The Marietta earthworks were one of the very first prehistoric sites to be mapped and widely discussed in America. And, and they were also uh, discussed and, and known in Europe as well. They really received very wide distribution um, and brought to the attention of people like Thomas Jefferson, who were among the early thinkers about American prehistory and archaeology. They were also one of the first places where elements of a prehistoric site were officially preserved. Also one of the places, perhaps the first place, where there was an attempt at absolute dating of a site, where trees growing out of the earthwork mounds, they were cut down and the rings counted in order to get some impression of uh, how old these mounds were. Today, archaeologists are using an array of modern technologies to detect the remnants of monumental earthworks throughout the Ohio Valley. This includes Dr. Jared Burks, who conducted geophysical surveys of the Quadrino and Conus Mounds in 2016. At Marietta, we used uh, magnetometry, ground-penetrating radar, so those are the the ground-based instruments, and photogrammetry, so flying a drone and taking photographs. The park with the Quadrino Mound, we used uh, a magnetometer and a ground-penetrating radar. At the Conus Mound, we used photogrammetry because it's a, it's a very large cemetery, so um, there's, there's a lot going on there underground already <laughs> from the more recent burials. Um, but we wanted to see if there are any subtle changes in the topography that maybe people have missed over the years. Uh, so we made a very high resolution 3D model of the place. And then uh, off on one edge, we can see a topographic change that no one really noticed before that 
maybe could be part of the original earthwork site. The kinds of things we've been detecting are just miraculous, I'd say. Uh, the things that you just don't know are there because they're either way too big to find in an excavation or they're too subtle to see in the soil when you're digging by hand. In a major project, the Campus Martius Museum is compiling all of the historical and archaeological data related to the Marietta Earthworks. The initial main objective of the Marietta Earthworks Research and Exhibit Project is to gather together all the information that's been developed about the Marietta Earthworks over the past 250 years. Uh, all the maps, all the letters written, all the publications, all the unpublished reports and sources of information that may be out there. The second objective is to uh, gather information about the prehistoric sites that exist in the area to develop a context for understanding the earthworks. We have to know and understand, to some extent, the human past in order to make wise decisions about the human present and the human future.